Hello everyone, I'm Michael and I'm known for my mod showcases. Today I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to highlight 4 mods which should completely transform your game and give you a better experience. In Stellaris there are many ancient civilizations and entities, like the Fallen Empires or the Curators. Ancient Cache of Technologies allows you to uncover their secrets and forge a new future of their enigmatic techs. It adds over 520 technologies, including a vast array of very powerful weapons, buildings generating tons of resources, ship classes based on long forgotten precursor designs, and more. All of them are categorized into 5 technology tiers, with each one having their own event chains and challenges an empire has to face to obtain them themselves or steal them from others. For example to get the Fi and Runic tier, you have to challenge a mysterious paramilitary faction called the Fennin Corps. Initially they are a neutral faction, offering their services to anyone in the galaxy, but should you attack them you're gonna have to face their menacing ships with millions of fleet power and conquer their mysterious vault to acquire their technologies. Throughout the galaxy you may also find fractured worlds, they are riddled with anomalies and on their surface lies a massive graveyard of ships and if you've got what it takes, you may restore an ancient research station and retrieve a powerful relic capable of summoning fallen empire ships. Fractured wells can also be improved and later transformed into void spheres, a giant ecumenopolis with very powerful districts capable of sustaining hundreds of pops. The mod also expands upon the curators by giving them more dialogue options and unique mechanics. It significantly buffs fallen empires, giving them better fleets and making their worlds harder to conquer. Armies also receive an overhaul. You can recruit three basic unit types, infantry, lightweight and heavy vehicles. Fallen Empires and Primitives get their own army types, and the same also applies for Hive Minds and different Ascension Paths. Another cool thing about this mod is the customization menu. If you don't want certain features from this mod, you can simply disable them and start your game as usual. Stellaris is all about creating stories, and Stellaris Evolved provides you many new tools to fulfill your fantasies. The Ethics Wheel has been expanded by the Industrialist Ecologist, Elitist Pluralist and Competitive Cooperative Axes. Each Ethic has unique policies with different effects and bonuses, and guest loads also get their own Ethics with additional mechanics. For instance, Empathy reduces the opinion penalty for guest loads, while Preservation gives you a plant enhancing decision. New authorities have also been added, and now you can create an AI governed empire or mega corporation, a cybernetic hive mind or a theology. There are also new variants of the corporate and democratic authority. The mod adds over a hundred new civics and it divides them into categories such as origin civics, meant to be used with specific origins, ruler replacement and job alteration civics, switching different occupations, feature civics which unlock new exciting mechanics, and more. Evolved also completely overhauls ascension paths. After picking an ascension path, you have to complete a situation to access a tradition tree. When you complete a chosen tree, another situation starts, allowing you to choose other perks at the end. In Evolved, each ascension has a tier 2 perk, and there are also hybrid ascensions combining the best of both worlds. After picking a second ascension perk, once again you have to complete a situation to finish ascending. Also keep in mind that there is always a chance that things may go wrong. There are multiple approaches you can take and you can always choose safer or riskier experimentation. Other vanilla mechanics have also been reworked. Archaeologies can be specialized into academic, administrative and military archaeologies. The same also applies to habitats. If you have the side real archaeologies ascension perk and a fully upgraded habitat, Habitat. Branch offices get 8 slots, and they now have capitals with each upgrade increasing the output of your buildings. Guest loads also get branch offices if they have the following civics, and relations above neutral with the chosen empire. Their buildings don't add jobs, instead they add modifiers benefiting the host and the corporate empire. Traditions now have secondary tiers. Tier 2 traditions have 3 final paths, however only one can be chosen at a time. Upon completion they unlock otherwise hidden mechanics. For example, with Outreach you can terraform uninhabitable plants by creating proto-wells. They can be later transformed into regular habitable wells, depending on the districts you've built. Stellaris Evolved is still in Alpha, and Rodat North and Rodat are actively implementing new features, so you should definitely give it a try.
After becoming a custodian, you only have one way to unite the galaxy with the Galactic Imperium. But what if you don't want to abandon your values? What if your empire is a megacorp or a hive mind? Wouldn't they have a unique approach in uniting the galaxy? Super states by Gordon CMB as alternatives to the Galactic Imperium for different ethos and empire types, giving you even more tools to create your own story. Egalitarian skin from the Galactic Republic, and with the shared burden civic, they may also form the Union of Socialist Stars, a communist state to unite all workers of the galaxy. There are also super states for megacorps, hive minds, and machines, including a variant meant specifically for driven assimilators. Super states can be created after removing custodian term limits and picking a resolution from the super state resolution tree. Each super state gets their own resolutions with different effects, and a unique civic giving them different bonuses. All super states, with the exception of the Universal Union, can also be transferred formed into the Imperium, allowing you to roleplay many different scenarios. The mod is still early in development, and in the future there will be more super states to come, so you should definitely subscribe to it. And last but not least we have Forerunner, a tradition overhaul by IDM. With this mod, each tradition tree is divided into different paths, which offer different bonuses related to the tradition's theme. To select an ascension perk, you have to complete a path, and then pair it with another one. This way you don't have to complete an entire tradition, and you may also pair paths from other tradition trees. For example, if your empire focuses on industry and exploration, you can pick two paths relevant to you, and still get an ascension perk, giving you more flexibility in role-playing and shaping your empire's future. Certain paths also have unique effects dependent on your empire type. This includes machines, hives, lithoids, and more. Forerunner also reworks ascension paths by combining them into a single tradition tree. Harmony replaces the psionic tree, revision replaces the genetic path, while synchronicity is either the synthetic or cybernetic path depending on what ascension perk you've chosen. There is also an alternative to ascending, and with the heritage tree you can choose to remember your legacy. It has three paths, purity, clairvoyance and sovereignty. Each path has different ethic requirements, and similarly to ascensions only one of them can be picked so choose wisely. Make sure to try out all of these amazing mods yourself, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any news on Stellaris.